Hello everyone and welcome back to today's analysis. As now for today's episode I'm going to analyze none other than John Connor, the main protagonist of the Terminator franchise. A literal futuristic messiah who is destined to save humanity from the evil AI, John Connor could easily be viewed by many as, as one of the most iconic heroes made in cinema. And in this episode I'm going to analyze all the information given about him throughout the films, from Terminator 1 to 6, and any kind of other source that we can find in order to analyze John Connor and to understand all the iterations of, of him across the multiverse. And now without further ado, let's dive in. John Connor was born in Los Angeles in 1984 to his mother Sarah Connor and a future soldier named Kyle Reese. As Kyle was sent by his own future self in order to protect his mother, as Skynet sent the T-800 in order to kill her to prevent John from being born. Thankfully, he has failed, as Sarah eventually got saved and impregnated by Kyle, and thus gave birth to John Connor. And growing up, John had quite of a complicated and rocky relationship with his mother, as eventually she always prepared John for the eventual uh, hostile takeover by the uh, AI and the eventual judgment they and the machine war, a prophecy that will ultimately come to fruition in 1997, when since Skynet officially went online, became self-aware and destroyed the humanity by using nuclear weapons, and thus killing 3 billion people and starting what will be called as the Judgment Day, the day when the human race was nearly wiped out by the very weapons he made to defend itself. And from here on out Skynet will start a war against the humanity, in which he will send Terminators to destroy it, in order to remake the world being dominated by machines. John Connor will rise as a leader of the human resistance, and will lead humanity to this horrible co conflict. A conflict that will eventually come to an end in 2029, and after more than 30 years, in which Skynet, as, as an act of desperation, has sent Terminators into the past, in order to prevent John Connor from being of becoming the leader of the resistance. And as I mentioned before, he sent the T-800 into 1984 to kill Sarah before she got John. In response to this, John sent his father, Kyle Reese, in order to save Sarah and got her pregnant, in order to make sure that his existence is assured. And after Kyle succeeded, Skynet sent another Terminator, a T-1000 in 1994, in order to kill the young John Connor before he becomes the leader of the Resistance. And in response to this, John sent a redeemed and reprogrammed T-800 in order to protect his younger self. And by doing this, he this event ultimately come to alter the timeline completely, as the younger John and his mother and the T-800 managed to convince Dyson, the creator of Skynet, in order to not create the evil AI, and even blow up the Cyberdyne systems in order to make sure of that, as well as destroying any kind of advanced technology that was used to create Skynet, and destroying the T-1000. And this event has ultimately destroyed the original timeline and split it into four to five timelines. The good timeline, as I like to call, is in one, in one in which the Judgment Day never happened, Skynet never came to power, and John and Sarah lived normal lives, and John even became a father. The Rise of the Machine timeline is where a new Terminator was sent after John in 2004, in, after both him and Catherine Brewster, and another T-800 was sent to, in time, back in time to protect John Connor. Of course, this event ultimately led to the Judgment Day happening in 2004, in which Skynet managed to take over the world in that timeline and start the Machine War, and John has become the leader of the Resistance, as everybody expected. And in this reality has splintered itself in two, the Salvation Timeline in which in 2018 Skynet tried to use the Human Terminator hybrid, Marcus Wright in order to find and kill John Connor and Kyle Reese and destroy the Resistance, and thankfully has failed, as this event led to the destruction of the greatest and the largest <laughs> Terminator facility, and as well as the end of the war, with Skynet making peace with humanity in that timeline. And of course, now comes the event what will be known as the Genesis Timeline, in which, much like the original one, the war was won by humanity in 2029, but the entire timeline was altered, as when Skynet sent the Terminator to kill the younger Sarah Connor in her childhood, John sent another Terminator in order to protect her, and with this, an entire new reality was created, in which the Judgment Day never happened in either 1997 or 2004, and thus the Kyle Reese, alongside with Sarah Connor and Pops, the T-800 that protected her, all of them traveled into San Francisco in 2017, with Skynet tried to become online under the under Sun AI, under the name of Genesis, and unleash a new Judgment Day in that reality as well. And tragically, John Connor was corrupted himself into a Terminator, 
an end and to achieve in 3000 in order to find and kill his parents in order to make sure this kind of takes over the world and now before i go any further we all should stop and ask ourselves is john connor good and I understand the silliness of the question, but if it were the first four movies, that question might not be viable to ask, given the fact that John Connor is legitimately a good person. Yes, he is far from perfect, and yes, he himself is pretty flawed. However, he does care about humanity, cares much enough in order to desire to protect it. However, the fifth film offers us an evil version of John Connor, the one who literally became the very thing that he hated and detested the most. A Terminator, they sell bent to destroy the humanity and help Skynet to rule the world. And of course, in other words, it could be argued that John Connor human could be considered brainwashed. Or that Terminator could not even be considered John Connor, but just the Terminator who has his face, his voice and his memories. And thus the real John is all but dead. And thus the answer to the question in my opinion is yes, John Connor is a good person who cares about humanity and thus loves his parents and wife. And ultimately, the final time that they are going to discuss is the Dark Fate timeline, in which John Connor and Sarah together managed to prevent the Judgment Day from happening, and Skynet never was created. However, one of his Skynet's Terminators did caught up with them in 1998, in Hawaii, where he managed to kill John Connor, and thus avoid his rise. However, Skynet himself never came to happen, and thus that reality was altered all completely. But instead, he was eventually replaced by Danny Ramos, they will become the leader of the resistance and Geese Legion, Skynet's successor, they will officially walk in his footsteps and try to unleash a new Judgment Day, thus proving that even without him, the rise of the AI is all but inevitable. So in the end, who was John Connor? He is nothing more but a simple boy who will grow up with an entire self-fulfilling prophecy throughout his entire life. A boy that will grow up into a man and leave mankind through some of the darkest times in his existence. A man that will ultimately come to be victorious and eventually come to make and unmake history in the process. And a man that will really be called as one of the most iconic heroes ever created in cinema. Thanks for watching everyone. Please don't forget to give a like and subscribe and have a nice day.